What's up, what's up, what's up? It is Dr. Remy LeBeau. I am here once again in the X lair, everybody's favorite lair with an X in front of it. Um, today I have something super, 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 super amazing and awesome and cool and fantastic and spectacular and just just too good to be true, really. Too good to be true. <laughs> this is the Bowen Designs Iceman statue. It is the clear variant that was produced okay so this statue was produced in 2007 i mean you can see how cool it is and you can see the pics uh that i took as well like this it's just such a really really nice piece and it just looks really great in a display and it just it just you know if you if you get if you if you get the light hitting it right it just looks so beautiful um so okay so this was produced in uh 2007 that was five years ago um, this is a variant actually. So there was like a regular version made, which is not translucent. And that was just sort of the one that was released, uh, to the public, uh, uh, on mass. And then I think this version was a website exclusive. I'm not completely sure about that. Um, I didn't buy it directly from Bowen designs because I wasn't collecting at the time that it was originally put, put up for sale. I think it was either a website exclusive or a collector's club exclusive. So Bowen Designs, if you order through them directly um, and you join their collector's club, uh, then which costs $25 a year, which then gives you access to the collector's club exclusives, every now and then they will put up a unique statue that only people that have bought this membership will have access to and, and it. And unfortunately, it's limited only to domestic customers. So I'm sorry to those international buyers, but domestic customers are then able to buy these statues if they choose to, which are completely limited and exclusive to people that have already been part of the collector's club before a particular statue is put up for sale. Um, so there's a collector's club exclusive, which you gain access to if you pay for the collector's club membership which is $25 for a year totally worth it on top of these exclusive you know opportunities to purchase really cool statues um, you can also get 20% off of any purchase that you make via their website so it actually winds up paying for itself if you just buy one statue generally that'll that'll cover the cost of the membership so it's totally worth it for anybody that loves Bowen Design statues is interested in getting like you know, newer solicitations from them. Uh, it's totally worth it for you to actually join this and it just pays for itself. And it's just, it's, I don't know. There's just no drawbacks to it <laughs> whatsoever. So I'm a collector's club member and I'm a collector's club uh, advocate. <laughs> um, uh, so those aside, the other um, potential like sort of unique uh, statue that could, that could be produced via Vogue and Designs is like a website exclusive, which just means that anybody can buy it domestically through uh, domestically in the US through the Bowen Designs website. Um, and that's it. It's exclusively offered through their website. So that's a website exclusive. And uh, you don't have to be a collector's club member to buy those. You just have to go through their website in order to purchase them. You're not going to get the 20% off discount. But Actually, if you join the collector's club at the moment that you're buying it, you can actually get the discount so it pays for itself. So it just doesn't make sense for you not to get the collector's club, um, not to become a collector's club member at the time that you're buying a website exclusive. It just makes sense for you to do that. Anyway, so there's the collector's club exclusives. There's the website exclusives. Those are the ones that tend to be, you know, kind of more sought after pieces in the, in the secondary market. And um, this was either a website exclusive or a collector's club exclusive. I'm not sure which, but there are only 300 of this guy in existence. So the statue itself was actually sculpted by Mark Newman. He did an incredible job on it. I'm super, I'm, I love the statue itself. So I originally bought the, the, the normal version, which is very cool. It's a very cool piece. If that's the only one you can get, it's totally worth getting because if you can see that it's not necessarily the translucent quality that makes this statue impressive. It's the base. It's the sculpt. So that the 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 other version is just like it's kind of it kind of has like a kind of like a frostier kind of quality to it. You can't really see through it, um, but it's still the same statue. So it's worth getting without a doubt. 
Um, so this one was produced in 2007. Um, this is number Don't Fall Expensive Statue 56 out of 300. This is number 56 out of 300. So again, there are only 300 of these in existence. I was happy to, I was lucky to get one. Um, I bought it on eBay. I think I paid like 400 bucks for it. And I think, and th this was a couple of years ago. And I don't think the price has really gone up, but it hasn't gone down. So if you're looking for one of these, you're probably going to pay three to $400 for it. Maybe. I think originally when it was put up for sale, it was probably like 100 150 bucks. This is the first um, full-size statue of Iceman that Bowen Designs produced. I'm pretty sure it's the only full-size statue of Iceman that existed up until that point. I think actually there might have been, I don't know. I, I'm not aware of any other statues. There, there might have been other full-size Iceman statues. I don't know. This is the one obviously that sort of like is definitive, <laughs> is the definitive Iceman um, statue. It's just a beautiful sculpt. It's a beautiful base. It's just a beautiful piece overall. Um, Sideshow Collectibles has since produced a translucent um, Iceman statue. Um, it's uh, so unfortunate because they had this really great opportunity to create something super special. And for some reason, it just wound up not being as impressive as it could have been. And it was completely due to the, the design of that statue. There was something about the face and the, and the pose and just all of it that just wasn't impressive and wasn't cool and didn't like and didn't just like you know just call out like awesome statue buy me buy me buy me it was more like you might want to pass on me <laughs> unless you're an old person with you know a kind of um volatile vision that may not see clearly <laughs> again Sideshow joke collectibles is hit and miss and I, I i have a lot of respect for the company they do a lot of great work but sometimes they just really, really, really miss the mark at times when they have such great opportunities to not do so and create things that, you know, collectors are just going to like, you know, salivate over. It's unfortunate. That slight episode aside, that slight, um, you know, Iceman statue production uh, mishap aside, Bowen Designs, yay, Bowen Designs, woo, what's up, Bowen, um, has produced... A new <laughs> Iceman statue. It's in a museum pose. Essentially, he's just standing there with like a um, like a snowball in his hand. He's got this really great smirk on his face. The statue has been sculpted by the Kucherek brothers. Yay for the Kucherek brothers! <laughs> the statue gods have once again <laughs> given us what we deserve as fans of these statues. Um, sculpted by the Kucherek brothers. Uh, there's three variants of it. There's Actually, there's actually going to be four versions of it. There's going to be, so there's like the original, there's like the normal version, which is not really translucent and kind of frosty, but nice. Looks cool. Love it. There's a, um, a clear variant of that one, which was a collector's club exclusive, which was put up for sale. I don't know, maybe like three or four months ago. I am just, you know, waiting. I'm at the edge of my seat, waiting every day by the mailbox, waiting for it to come. I know it's not coming, but I'm still like camping out by the mailbox just because, you know, who knows? Like there might be some incredible like uh, turn of events that just winds up having the statue delivered to me early. No, it's not. It's not going to happen. It's not going to come out for probably like five months, which is fine. I'm willing to wait for it. it so uh, that is going to be the most incredible like, <laughs> probably the most incredible statue that's coming up in the next like six months or next year actually um there's another one which is a translucent version of the statue i think it was a website exclusive and that is iceman with his power belt which reflects him like the period of time in which iceman bobby drake bobby drake one of the original five x-men um it, reflects the time that he was an x-factor and i guess it was a story in which something was going on with his powers it was kind of out of control and he got this power belt i think from loki shouldn't have got you shouldn't have trusted that guy you know he's sneaky bobby young impressionable he got this power belt which took which got his power under control and so that is the third version of the statue being produced. I already bought. I already have it on on, on pre-order through the website. I think it's a website exclusive. Again, not a collector's club exclusive, a website exclusive. So those that wanted it were able to buy it through the website without being a collector's club member. Uh, unfortunately, 
overseas collectors were not able to buy it through the website. But in the future, when a website exclusive is put up for sale, there are ways of international buyers getting these statues, and I'll, I'll post stuff online um, on how you can do that. Uh, anyway, that aside, um, so that's the third version. And then finally, the fourth variant is like the original team version of him in which he's going to he's gonna have sort of like a, it's not going to be very smooth. It's kind of got like a coarse sort of uh, like icy quality to him, reflecting the, uh, you know, the initial period of time in which um, Bobby Drake, as one of the original five X-Men, didn't have complete control over his powers. He couldn't like kind of streamline his look to be kind of smooth and just and just like uh, sort of like an icy um, layer over his body. It, it was more just kind of like a bunch of ice everywhere. And he looks kind of like a snowman. So that statue um, is also has also been put up for sale. It is the actually the last statue that was needed for the original five X-Men um, uh, set. So I'm looking forward to that one. So that's like. So there's so there are four Icemen coming. I'm getting three of them. I'll be featuring them all as soon as they get here. I'll be very excited, and you will be um, kind of scared at how excited I'll be uh, when they finally get here. But fortunately, I don't have to wait to have a really awesome Iceman statue because I already have a really Iceman statue, and he's right freaking here. Look at this thing. It's just amazing. Look at I mean, just look. I mean, the depending on, on how the light hits it, like. It just looks freaking great, and it actually looks great on this video. My God, it looks great. Um, so yeah, this is this is like a very impressive statue. Again, if you only get the normal version, it's not a problem. Like it is uh, impressive because you can tell it's just an impressive piece overall. Um, it works really well in a variety of displays. Currently, I don't have him in a particular display. Like I used to have him in my. Um, a 90s x-men i think it's the gold team or it's either the blue team it's the one that um that that storm led in uncanny x-men when the two teams when when two teams were created in the 90s when jim lee and chris claremont started x-men volume two uh and he had the blue and gold team and i i think the blue team was a team that remained in uncanny x-men that was Iceman, Storm, Jean Grey, Colossus, Archangel, and then Bishop came into the mix because he was actually introduced during that time. Um, and so I had him in that display, but given that we're getting like this new clear version of him that's going to be in a museum pose, I thought, well, I'm going to take this statue out of that display. I'm going to actually save a spot for him in the museum pose for that dis for, for my 90s blue team display. I think it's either blue or gold. Sorry, guys. I'm not I don't have it all worked out in my mind but um so so i'm gonna have him in that in that display so so currently i have him iceman in a detolf one of my glass cases um because like you know he is kind of like a special piece and i don't really want anything to happen to him ever so i kind of feel like he should be protected a little bit more um again like there's only 300 of these in existence he's super impressive and i, th I feel like he needs like special attention um so i've got him in a detolf but i got him i've, I've got him in like kind of like the modern um area of my displays in my collection room because in my x layer sorry sorry collection room didn't mean to to uh, offend you x layer i have him in the modern x-men area of my x layer because i kind of feel like iceman in this in this uh in this you know in this look with ha having this look it kind of fit into the modern x-men display he's become a little bit more like weird kind of jaggedy like ice um I see um, like kind of like with ice icicles like kind of protruding from him in various uh, places. Um, I, I, I really don't like that modern design, but then again, modern can encompass like 15 years or something. I don't know. It just depends on how one chooses to define modern. There's no hard and fast rules when it comes to these sort of ambiguous terms. So he um, kind of fits in the modern era um, display. So I have them next to that display in the Detolf with a couple of other modern statues. So, you know, he works there and he gets that special attention and he's extra protected and I'm happy about that. Um, so again, if you have, if you, uh, you know, have limited funds and are looking for an Iceman statue and don't have access to these new ones that are coming out and can't get this one, you know, I would get the, uh, the normal statue that kind of like the frosty, the frosty version of this um, because I think it would work really well in like a 90s X-Men display 
or as just a standalone piece. If you like Iceman and you just kind of want him as a standalone uh, statue, if you don't have many statues and you, know, you, you have to choose which ones you get and you like Iceman a lot, I would just go for the normal ice, um, frosty ice version because it is impressive in and of itself. It's definitely something to have. So get that one. If not, if you can get this one, get this one. And uh, if you can get some of the ones coming up, uh, there's usually, you know, people that buy like, so collectors club members were able to get two, uh, were able to order two. So it was a two, two piece limit to the collectors club translucent museum post Iceman that is coming up. Um, so a lot of people I'm sure bought a second one just to kind of sell it on eBay. So th I'm sure there will be some of those coming up. Um, on eBay. So if you're interested in that particular statue, which I'll post some photos of in the future in my blog um, I'm sure you'll have access to it, but you'll definitely won't be able to get it at retail You know people don't buy these things to sell them at the same price. They bought them for you know It's just kind of like this whole flipping thing that goes on Anyway, um, once again, let me give mr. Drake here. Mr. Bobby Drake one last twirl so you can get one last look at all his awesome qualities the base itself the base is actually really cool it's actually the x base and from the x base is an ice slide that he's created um and you know and they and they and mark newman took a lot of time to kind of really put in details into the ice slide like the the fall the ice follicles kind of hanging down from them it's like it's very well done even at the bottom so you you could like you know display this like in a low uh in a on a high in a high sort of place and kind of still get a lot of like detail from just the base itself so there's just a lot of impressive qualities to this statue um and of course i've got a lot of close-ups of this on my blog post so check all that stuff out um yeah see here all all very nicely done ice superb man just superb um anyway that is it for this review thank you for checking it out thank you for checking out my blog x-men statues of future past.blogspot.com Thank you for checking out my um, YouTube channel. Dr. Remy LeBeau is the official name. Dr. Remy LeBeau's x Lair is the actual name. And um, I have plenty more stuff to come. So stay tuned, my friends. And as always, X in the box because ain't nobody checking me. I'll catch you all very, very soon. Take care.